Hi, I'm Dr. Mike, and I'd like to teach you in this video how to draw the graph of a parabola. The typical equation of a parabola is like this. You've got y is a function of x, and the form of the function is that something times x squared plus something else times x plus something else. An example might be y equals 2 times x squared minus 3 times x minus 2. Here, the a is 2, the b is minus 3, and the c is minus 2. To draw the graph of the parabola, you need to find a few points on the curve. So, the points you look for fall into two groups. There are the intercepts. These are where the curve of the parabola, which is a nice bowl-shaped curve, either up or down, where that curve hits the axes, the x and y axes. Those are called the intercepts. So, let's talk about them first. The y-intercept is very easy to find. You just put x equals 0, and that gives you y equals c. So that's, that's, that's very easy. The x-intercepts, they're a bit more complicated. For that, you put y equals 0, and then you either factorize, you either factorize this equation, or you use the quadratic formula, which I won't write up here. I'm not going to use it. The second point, the second point you look for, well, this could give you up to three points. So the next point you look for is called the vertex. That is, with your parabolic curve, the vertex is the point on the very top, if it's curving down, or if it's curving up, that's the point on the very bottom of the curve. It's also the axis of symmetry of the parabola, whether it's up or down. That's, how, that's where the axis of symmetry of the parabola is. To find that, you've got this equation, the x-coordinate, is minus b over 2 times a. And to find the y-coordinate, you take this x value and you substitute it into the original equation. Let me do an example for you. Here we've got y is 2 times x squared minus 3 times x minus 2. To get the y-intercept, we say, to get the y-intercept, you put x equals 0, that gives y equals c, which in this case is minus 2. Let me write that down. So that gives me one point on the parabola already. I know my parabola has the point 0, minus 2. The x-intercepts, well, I can either factorize this equation or use the quadratic formula. I'm going to factorize it. And that gives 2x plus 1 times x minus 2 equals 0. So x is either minus a half or 2. That gives me another two points on my parabola. Minus a half and y is 0, remember? And 2, 0. Now we've got three points on the parabola. For the fourth and final point, that's the vertex, I'll use this equation, minus b over 2 times a, that's minus, in this case, b is minus 3, and 2 times a is 2 times 2. So minus, minus 3 over 4, that's just 3 quarters. And if you substitute this, if you take this x and work out y, that's 2 times 9 sixteenths minus 3 times 3 quarters minus 2. Well, that turns out to be minus 3.125. So the vertex is 3 quarters minus 3.125. Once you've found all these points, then it's time to actually start drawing the graph.
of your parabola. So this is the curvature on the graph. I found these four points. I'm going to plot all these points on this set of axes here. Okay? When you're drawing a graph, use a great big space. Okay? I'm using half the board here. You should use at least half a page if you're doing it on paper. So, the range of x values I need, well, let's say we go out to about 2 here, and minus 2 here. And for the y values, well, I'll put minus 2 there, 2 there, and so on. To plot these points, the y-intercept is at 0, minus 2. That's just here. So, the curve of the parabola is going to go through that point. The other points we've got, minus a half, zero, and two zero, that's there and there. Already you're beginning to see the shape of the curve, but we need to find the vertex to know where the very bottom of it is. That's three quarters, minus 3.125, and the parabola is going to, be, going to be just turning around there. Now that I've got all these points, it's basically join the dots to get a nice bowl-shaped curve. And there's my sketch of the parabola. I'm going to use some software called GraphPower, which you can get from graphpower.com, to test whether I've drawn the sketch correctly First, I'll type the equation of the parabola into this box here, 2 times x squared minus 3 times x minus 2. We'll put in some bounds for the value of x, say from minus 5 to 5. And when I click OK, the graph of the parabola appears instantly. I can use the zoom function to zoom out a bit, add some grid lines, and there's the graph. There's the vertex and the intercepts. And basically, that's how you sketch a parabola.